All right, so we made it to Mount Mitchell State Park, and we are at 6,578 feet right now. This is a spectacular view. We're actually pretty fortunate to be here today because it's 60 plus degrees down in Asheville, and up here it's in the low 40s. Had it been in so nice, and the would have closed in, so it's a real treat to be here this late in the winter. We're going to explore, have been here before, and see what it's all about. So come along with us as we check out Mount Mitchell State Park in North Carolina. Alright, so one of the fun things we'll see today is the temperature change in elevation. Right now we are at about 2100 feet in western North Carolina at 65 degrees. So we're going to see what it's like when we go up over 4000 feet from here to 6700 feet and see what the temperature is like at the top of Mount Mitchell. Welcome to the beautiful Blue Ridge Parkway. On the way up to Mount Mitchell, we stopped here at one of the overlooks off the Blue Ridge Parkway. This is Graybeard Mountain, elevation 5,365 feet. The views, I don't even know how far out that is. That is something else. All right, this 20,000 acre area is one of the largest city owned watershed in the United States. It supplies 30 million gallons of water daily to the 150,000 people of Asheville and vicinity and preserves one of the few remaining spruce fir forests in this region. Yes, and you can see them at the top. Check it out. If I pan over here, you can see at the top, at this higher elevation where the spruce firs grow. And I believe, if I'm not incorrect, it's only above 5,000, 6,000 feet is where they grow. We have just arrived at Mount Mitchell State Park and it is 40 degrees that's 25 degrees cooler than it was when we left the Asheville area and it just goes to show you that no matter what time of the year if you raise significantly an elevation and you're visiting a place in the mountains here you can get much cooler whether that's summer and just getting a cool down or if that's winter time and you might end up seeing some snow so we're going to get outside check out this cool fresh air and get going We are at one of the highest points right here physically where I'm standing and Mount Mitchell itself is the highest point east of the Mississippi at almost 6,700 feet. Love the spruce fir trees here. It is truly like a winter Christmas wonderland. I can't even imagine how nice it would look when there's snow up here. All right, climb down these rocks here to get a little bit of a view. And just over ahead, there's a nice picnic area. And not just one, this isn't the only one. There's some cabins over here, some old style cabins that have grills, picnic tables so you can bring your snacks, your lunch. Again, there is a restaurant that's open seasonally. But if we check out over here, I love that style of wood fence. Very natural, those are really cool. Walk over here, yeah. It's got a stone chimney. Of course we got uh, everything that you need. You could bring the family, you, could, you know, having a birthday here. It doesn't have to be a party, just having a simple time together, cook out some burgers, hot dogs. And let me tell you, you can't beat the view. That is something else. So yeah, just adding to the state park. Oh, there's the fireplace. And based on it saying picnic shelter one day in use, my guess is that you can reserve these. Even has a nice smell in the fireplace. Another advantage here at Mount Mitchell State Park. So this is the restaurant that is open seasonally. And if you peek through, you can see that you're going to get some mountain views while you eat. I love restaurants like that. 
So I'll have to come back here in the spring or summer and check out the restaurant here at Mount Mitchell State Park. Looks like there's an observation tower. We're going to check it out. A little bit of history about this mountain. Elijah Mitchell was a scientist and professor that died in an attempt to prove this mountain was the highest in the eastern U.S. And those efforts weren't all for naught because it is. Let's so go check it out. So the trail to the summit is a paved path and not too difficult to walk. One other note today, as my dog Chico gets in the frame here, I'm using the gimbal for the first time. And I'm impressed. I like it. Works well. Oh, what do we got here? Old Mitchell Trailhead. Mountains to Sea Trail. It's a little bit of an uphill hike right here, but I wouldn't call it anything advanced, especially since they paved the whole thing all the way to the summit. More of the beautiful spruce trees. So here's the explanation on a spruce fir forest. And as I mentioned before, I knew it didn't grow except for at elevations above. And it says here 5,500 feet. And it is a sight to see when you're up here. With all of the trees. located in reference to North Carolina, almost up at the Tennessee state line, which you can surely see out in the distance. There's got to be views that are at least 50 miles out in the distance, if not further. Houses that dot the landscape. All right, so up at the top here, we have an observation tower that has signs pointing in each direction, east, southwest, and tell you which mountains are out in the distance. So we follow along here, got our spruce fir out in the distance, we've got north, look at that, Johnson City, Tennessee, looking out there, Grandfather Mountain, Boone, definitely see way out in the distance very clear day today so it's really easy to see all the views of the mountains no snow on the caps today because we've been having unusually warm weather for the end of December here looking out west all right so looking out at the west sign we have little butt and big butt mountains I love the names those are pretty funny and going right into the sun and then finally looking back out south towards Asheville, Mount Pisgah and a lot of the other areas that we've explored before. There are those peaks listed on the sign pointing south. Pisgah, Asheville, all of those out in the distance. Here atop, Mount Mitchell, 6,700 feet almost. Mount Mitchell, highest peak east of the Mississippi River, 6,684 feet.
this is the actual grave of Elisha Mitchell that they were showing below. Right below the uh, observation tower. All right, so at the top of Mount Mitchell, just below where the observation deck is, this is a beautiful place to check out any time of the year. They do have a gift shop, a museum, um, uh, a uh, restaurant that's open, uh, but I believe that's only from March until October. And since we're here in late December, we're just checking out the trails and the views. This would be a spectacular place to check out any time of the year. It was free. It doesn't cost anything to get in. And it's just a few miles off the Blue Ridge Parkway here in Western North Carolina. So check this out. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I've never been here before, but I'm pretty impressed by being at the highest point east of the Mississippi and seeing all the views north, south, east, and west, 360 degrees from the top. Really impressive. Going to check out a little bit of this Balsam Nature Trail now. This is a non-paved path. Have not been on it before, but we're just going to go a little bit and check it out and see what it's like. Let's get going. All right, heading on the path, got the proper shoes and gear today. Oh, I like it. I've got signs here, probably telling us about either the forest or the views. Oh, yes. So I remember hearing about this at uh, one of the visitor centers, I think in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, what's killing the trees. And there's a whole bunch of things that are happening. Um, acid deposits, uh, problem with the soil, weather, and other things. And I know there's one particular disease that's killing a lot of the trees at higher elevations as well. Such a shame. Hopefully, can revive this and preserve this for the beauty that it has. This is the disease that I was thinking of early with the eastern hemlocks. And there's an insect that is... Um, destroying these trees and it basically talks about uh, the once lush foliage of the hemlocks is given way to dead and dying trees due to that insect and so a lot of them have had to been cut down and as this picture shows right here it dots the forest with um, dead trees that's uh, that's unfortunate We'll keep walking here. Ooh, a little soggy. A little muddy. Wildflower Haven. Of course, we're not going to see any of that this time of the year. It's in December. I tell you, this gimbal helps a lot with the walks. Smooths it out so much from some of the hikes that I've done it. Chimney Rock. Oh boy, the smell of the forest is just as you'd expect. Fresh, got that sense of uh, evergreen pine smell not too many folks on this path right now it is a little muddy we've been having a lot of rain probably won't go too far but just want to check it out obviously the dog's having a good time sniffing all this oh wow look at this rock formation right here oh here we go the warden's cabin Just in front of us lies the cabin, which I don't see. But I do see the rock formation here.
the mighty Black Mountains. We're hiking a J-shaped mountain range that actually is only about 15 miles in length, even though it has some of the highest peaks in all of Appalachian Mountains. I just can't get over these spruce fir forests. I would love to have some of these in my yard if I could, but they don't grow at that elevation. Take a look at them. It's like a Christmas tree. Let's see if I can focus in on that. Oh. One thing I'm so amazed about and I can't get over is when I breathe in, it has got to be some of the freshest air that I've breathed around this area. It's just, it's exactly what you'd expect it to be up here. Listen to the wind. I love it. This is really nice. Continue on this hiking trail here. It is a bit rugged. Again, this is not an advanced trail. As far as elevation changes, we really haven't gone up or down that much, but you do have to watch where you're going. I mean, you got a little bit of a ravine right here that you don't want to slip and fall down. And then there's been rocks and you definitely have that feeling of being in the middle of a forest. We're getting a little bit of everything. We're getting the rock formations, the trees, the elevation, the fresh air. This is why folks love being outdoors and hiking so much. This trail, again, unlike the uh, top when we were at the peak, is much less visited. It was quite busy up there. That was only a 300 foot walk from the parking lot, so that was pretty easy to do. Family, strollers, anything, uh, wheelchairs, you could have gotten to the top. This certainly, you need to have um, a little bit of, uh, well, let's say off-road ability in order to walk this trail. Oh man, this is so picturesque. I, I don't even think the camera does it justice. Now we're going to continue on this path for a little bit more. Get some more fresh air here in late December at Mount Mitchell State Park. Here's another interesting sign. The hardy survivors and the extreme conditions up here at the elevation and the cold weather, not everything can survive. So some of the hardy survivors are the yellow birch, mountain ash, fire cherry, and red berried elder. All right, so that's going to do it today from here at Mount Mitchell State Park in Western North Carolina. We got to go up to the observation deck and see views from almost 6,700 feet, being able to have 360 degree views of all the mountains here in Western North Carolina. We came to this beautiful nature trail with this spruce pine forest. We got to see beautiful rock formations and just what nature had to offer in this crisp, clean, fresh air. Really enjoyed it. So if you get a chance and you're in Western North Carolina, a little bit off the Blue Ridge Parkway, come up here to Mount Mitchell State Park. So until next time, this is Mr. Mountain Man saying see you later.